And with us now, Haley and Evgeny joining us from their training in New Jersey. Thank you guys so much for being with me. Haley, I want to start right with you with a question, if I can, because you are still a teenager. You're still 19 years yeah. old, and you've had to take a, a years-long break from competitive skating after high school. Then you came to seminary in Jerusalem. Now you're about to experience, like, this thrill of a lifetime what has this journey been like for you? What are your expectations before you hop on the plane to Beijing? Um, you know, this journey, I think, has been crazy for both of us. Um, it's been just a whirlwind. You know, everything happened so fast. The training before the qualifier happened so fast. The qualifying competition. So, you know, it's been an amazing and unbelievable opportunity that was given to me. And the fact that we, you know, pulled it off, I guess you could say, it just makes it um, 10 times better. And, you know, going into the Olympics, I, I'm kind of trying to take everything in, you know, like taking each day, day by day. Um, you know, I just want to live in the moment and just appreciate everything that's happening because I never expected it to happen to me. Incredible story. Evgeny, how, how do you develop the trust, the, the respect, the friendship, the communication with a partner that you've only been practicing with, you know, for a few months? I mean, I'd imagine it normally would take years to come together the way you have in just a few weeks? I mean, usually, yeah, usually it takes a couple of years, but I knew Haley from uh, before, and we kind of were like friends back then already when we were skating on the same ice, just different partners. And we had good relationship back then. I mean, it wasn't that difficult to get the trust. It's more about getting ourselves together really quick and doing the best we can. Talk to me, if you can, about uh, being a part of the Israeli delegation to the Winter Games. It's a very small delegation. You're part of six athletes right now. You feel pressure? Um, I don't know if I feel pressure. I'm more kind of honored, I guess, you know, to be one of the only six athletes um, going to the Winter Olympics for Israel. It's kind of like not really pressure it's kind of like i'm happy that we're the ones that get to represent this amazing country and an amazing group of people so i'd say it's more of an honor what are your hopes for the games i mean there's 19 spots do you aim to be in the finals do you think realistically you can make a top 10 finish or beyond uh, talk to me realistically about what you hope uh to do there i mean for us i think we have to be in the finals it's not even a question no other options, but when we get to the final, um, basically just push as hard as you can. Obviously, if we can push it to top 10, it would be amazing. But as for us, we just need to skate as clean as we can just, just to push so we can be the highest place we can be. You've got, you, this is your third Olympics. What do you, for you as an athlete, what do you like most about working with Haley? Uh, what do you think makes her so special on the ice with you? I mean, I, I said it between us, obviously, a hundred times probably. Haley, I wish we would skate, like, let's say five years back and start skating right there. But that's what the destiny wanted. That's where we are. But with Haley, just the whole process, it's basically been very easy, easy going. And uh, we're just enjoying the process. Yeah. Uh, can I ask, you know, Haley uh, uh, and Evgeny, I mean, normally for a Winter Games, there would be screaming fans, packed stadiums. You know, the iconic image after every skating event is the flowers and the stuffed animals being thrown on the ice. Perhaps none of that will be there. It may be silent. It may be empty when you're there. How do you prepare yourself mentally for the reality of a COVID Olympics? I think that, you know, with COVID going on for however long it's been going on, it's kind of in preparation in itself. You know, for us, I think, although it would have been nice to have a packed stadium and flowers and all that thrown on the ice, I think we're just happy just to be the, at the games. You know, it's an experience in itself. And it might not be like um, the past Olympic Games, but I'm sure it's just going to be just as amazing whether there's a crowd there or not. So I think we're just looking forward to being able to participate Haley, when you took your break after high school, I mean, you're a, a proudly modern Orthodox Jewish woman. Did, did you think you might be done with competitive skating? Did you dream of, you know, being able to compete in the Olympics? 
Um, I think from when I was very young, my dream was always to be, to compete in the Olympics. Um, I did stop skating for numerous reasons, but um, you know, I, I actually didn't really see myself getting back into competitive figure skating until the Federation did call me. So it was quite a shock when I got that phone call. And Yevgeny, this will be your third Olympics. You know, I know that you moved to Israel as a, as a, as a toddler. I think you were two or three. You started skating yep. from a young age. What does it mean for you to represent Israel, you know, in the, in the Olympics, in the Winter Olympics, to, to wear that, have that flag? What does it mean to you? I mean, for me, it was never different because I basically started skating in Israel. Mm. Um, I've been representing Israel my whole life. There is nothing weird or different to it. I mean, just regular. I wouldn't, I cannot imagine me representing any other country. You're pr how, prou uh, how proud do you feel to be able to represent Israel? I'm very proud. I mean, it's my whole life. It's the country I grew up. It's where's my family still. They're still there. Um, can't wait to go back every time to Israel. I love this country. I'm basically the happiest person. Well, we wish you guys success and health, and you're already making all of Israel proud with the accomplishments so far. Incredible teamwork and, and coordination so far. Good luck in Beijing, guys. Enjoy the experience. Have a great trip. Thank, Thank you, you so much.